I made a video. I'm so sorry, you guys. I uh, just want to tell everyone thank you for always reaching out to me on Facebook, Instagram, and also Snapchat. My son is already one years old, so it's been that long. But I also wanted to tell you guys, there's so many things that I'm doing, and I can't wait to update, update you guys. But anyways, enough about that. This video is about postpartum, you know, a year after the baby. Um, and you guys already know my husband, Steven. Sorry. Hey. He's up, and we, and we have no choice but to have him walking around the house because he's not going to sleep anytime soon. But um, anyways... Yes, yeah, so we're doing a couple addition. The reason we're doing a couple addition when it comes to postpartum is because when one is pregnant, when a woman is pregnant, they're both are pregnant. So that's why I wanted to make sure that you guys saw my husband and his intake on me after giving birth. So I'll let him introduce himself, although you guys already know who he is, and then we'll start from there. I'm Stevens. Some know me as Julio. However, it's Stevens Julio Leader. A um, little bit about myself. I think you know a little bit more about me than I, you know, than I could tell you right now. Because if you've been watching the videos, um, actually, uh, when my wife went into labor, it was a really, really good moment. It was a, one of the happiest moment, moments of my life. But as soon as you know we got home, <laughs> well, let me tell you guys. I was doing December oh, the sixth. I was doing December the sixth, and they had to induce me because he wouldn't come out on his own. My word didn't break. Um, I was having contractions, but they weren't close enough, so you already know how irritated I was. I'm typically 100 pounds, and carrying a big old baby, I look like having twins, it was just a lot. So, um, the labor wasn't, the labor was somewhat intense. There's a little, um, we have a little trailer on our, on our YouTube channel, if you want to go ahead and check that out. I was beating my face, you know, and then I was happy one moment, next minute I was mad and cussing him out he's asking if i want more kids and all this crazy stuff but i want to say just a moment you guys i'm sorry my baby sorry. so sorry i have to go in and out you guys are probably thinking why she put him to sleep before she did a video well because i tell you guys all the time my videos are going to be as realistic as possible and this is how it is now having a baby he's everywhere so yeah, so, okay, so the labor was kind of crazy, but let's fast forward to after coming home. I'm Haitian. Um, I was born in Haiti. I was born, I was born in Fort Lauderdale, but I'm Haitian. And after a woman gives birth, either the mother uh, or the mother-in-law or, you know, older, uh, older Haitian woman would come over and give us a special bath, which I did do um, for about three days straight, Evan. Yeah. I did, it, I did it for three days straight. My mother-in-law did the two days, and then my husband did the last day. We'll drink all these nasty little teas and leaves and all this crazy stuff. Um, but that's kind of like to, you know, to flush us out and to get the body back snack. I still have my baby weight, but I want to keep my baby weight. So that's why I'm still kind of big. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about the whole, you know, postpartum. And I I, I, I swear just a little bit of postpartum depression. Maybe it wasn't depression. Sorry, you guys, for the noise. Maybe it wasn't depression. Um... But I did go in and out of, you know, kind of like, you know, in my feelings and stuff like that. Of course, which is normal because my hormones were, you know, were out of whack. And they're still out of whack, actually. But the awesome part about it is that it's how he dealt with it. Because one minute I was nice, I was sweet, and then I was sour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, it was uh, bipolar, a lot of bipolar going on. <laughs> but, you know, you just... You just have to deal with it. Um, the most biggest important thing is to be able to help your wife or help your, your loved one with the baby. Um, to be involved as much as possible with changing the diaper, yes. putting the baby to sleep. Waking up, waking up in the middle of the night. All of that. Well, I did that for how long? Yeah, I know. And then I quit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work, you, you, you guys. And, you know, if you are pregnant right now and, or you just gave birth, um, understand that sometimes the men don't catch on as quick, especially if it's your first child. They don't catch on as quick that we are not normal. We are aliens for the first year or so. We're not ourselves. And so men, if you guys could understand that about us, it makes the marriage, it makes the relationship much more easier. Would you say that? Absolutely. So, um, you know, help with, you know, doing chores around the house. Yeah, cooking, and cleaning. Hug. And uh, of course, the baby. I'd like you guys to understand, when it comes to postpartum, there's a couple of signs that you have to look for. Um, certainly, you gotta look for bipolar. 
Uh, <laughs> bipolar is not a sign, eh? Yes, it is very much. It's a so. disorder. Uh, yeah, well, that too. So basically, uh, you know, there's those moments where she's gonna be like, "Oh, babe, could you come here? Oh, could you get off of me? Oh, it's kind of hot. Oh, oh, come on, could you rub my back? You're doing it too hard, baby." And, and you, sometimes she'll just break down and cry. And oh, okay, she he wants to get. Okay, uh, yeah, sometimes. She'll break down and cry, and, and I, I have to come through and rescue her, put her on my, on my chest and say, I'm not your baby. It's all right. You know, and then she doesn't know why she's crying. Um, so there's that. And there's also the sad That's moments. That's a normal thing for me, though. <laughs> mm, sometimes. And then, then there's also the, 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 the silent treatment, where, where she just sits there and just is just in deep thought, just thinking about something, and she doesn't even know what she's thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta ask her, hey, what are you talking? What are you thinking about? Oh, my and it, it, those are the moments you want to look, look look out for, and you also want to look out for moments where where you feel like they get a little aggressive towards whether it's towards friends or your friends or. I never, I never, I never got aggressive. I got a little bit aggressive, baby. A little aggressive. Like, where, where, you, where you going? No, no, you're not going anywhere. Mother, you, he ain't going, you know, like stuff like that. Oh, well, that's different. So, so she gets a little, you know, a little aggressive. You want to be going nowhere. I, I'm, I'm your bestie. I'm, where, I'm that, home. Because you have to think about it. Us men, you know, we, we, well, I was supporting her as much as I could, but every once in a while I wanted to get a little, get away a little bit. Why? Why? Because I needed to refresh myself. Anyways, you guys, so, you know what? She don't want to hear it. No, you know what? I ain't got time for that. But anyway. <laughs> I'm going to cut this video very short because he's getting on my nerve. But I just want to tell you guys about um, something that I am working on. One thing at least for right now. I'm working on some other things, but I can't tell you guys yet. I do have a group called Chit Chat with Juju on Facebook. Check me out. Um, it's for women where we uplift one another. Um, and it's just awesome. Like so many women and so much positive feedback I've gotten from this group. And... You know, if you can't find the group on Facebook, maybe because it's a secret group, you could look for me on Facebook and I'll add you. Just inbox me and say, hey, I want to be added to your group, and then I'll go ahead and add you on. But the name of the group is called Chit Chat with Juju. My name is Judy Leger, so if you're looking for me on Facebook, that's my name. Last name is spelled L-E-G-E-R. I want to cut this video short um, because I have so many things I want to share with you all, but not in this video since my son is up. I'll be back with the second video, and this time it will not be here. Do you have anything to say? Um, I wanted to finish my. Uh... No. Okay, mm -hmm. I guess He's not. Say. All right. Well, the next video, uh, I'll uh, I'll do a whole synopsis with just me, just explaining all the situations. <laughs> all I'm gonna dramatize everything for y'all to see, so y'all can understand when you, when you're with your. But you, but but you still would be though. Of course. Okay. Of course, my. Yeah, I mean, so I wasn't that crazy. I, you know, like the pastor said. I wasn't that crazy. I know, but I wasn't that crazy. If you're still here, uh, yeah, I'm still here. I'm oh. still here. Uh, uh. Anyway, you guys. Um, again, I want to thank you guys for reaching out to me. Thank you for always tuning in to my videos. Till next time, I love you guys so, 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 so much.